जरा जो करम हो तेरा मुकम्मल हो इश्क मेरा कर ले को हे एवरीबॉडी दिस इज निधि चौहान एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी ऑन 9xm साउंडकास्ट ये दुआ Hey guys thank you for joining me on this brand new episode of 9xm soundcast the podcast where music inspires make sure that you subscribe to this podcast available on all leading audio streaming platforms such as the epilog media website spotify apple podcast google podcast jio seven gana wherever else you guys get your podcast from Today's episode features a powerhouse singer whose songs have mesmerized us for more than 20 years. She has won numerous awards and accolades, but for me, uh, she's that distinct path-breaking voice that changed or rewrote the history of playback singing in India, wherein a song pictureized on an Indian film or a hindi film heroine had to be of a particular kind. Uh, she sang, she won and she conquered millions of hearts and as most of the female singers who have appeared on this podcast have confessed to giving her the credit for changing the definition or the perception towards that perfect uh, hindi film lead voice and um, the fact that she has inspired so many aspiring singers i am overjoyed to be talking to her again on this podcast uh, this time to talk about her first independent single uh, that she has collaborated with 9xm and spotlamp ye ranjishe sunidhi chauhan a very very hearty welcome on 9xm soundcast thank you so much wow that was a lovely introduction thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for the patience because of course i had to you know kind of voice out everything that i you know felt while you know just thinking about you and the the emotions that you know all of us have felt uh, while listening and enjoying your songs uh, over the period of so many years now first of all uh, tell me how's this uh, lockdown uh, you know been for you especially you know handling the kid and handling you know your career and your singing projects yeah well you know how kids are i just had a glimpse at, uh, glimpse at your daughter and uh, she's lovely by the way <laughs> thank you uh, so yeah they totally handful <laughs> and um, it's amazing but the the love that you see and feel around you that's unbelievable i i have i don't think i've experienced anything like this before in my life this free this loved this wanted uh this this feeling is just incredible uh, and during the lockdown honestly to to a lot of us it was a very difficult time and um, of course it was a difficult time for all of us uh, including myself uh, because hum logon ko ghar pe kaam karne ki utni aadat hai nahi but there was no help nothing you know nobody around so we had to do everything at home and along with tag it was even more difficult but uh, having said that i did get a chance to meet myself you know meet, meet me you know the person that is inside of me who who's been so busy over the you know last uh, 30 years 25 30 years now and uh, i never got a chance to you know take uh, you know just sit down and and ask myself what i like what i do not like because with film so- uh, film singing you know film songs we just a gana aata hai you you don't have a reason to say no unless you are I mean, on a me, roll yeah, yeah and for me the, the only reason i've had to say to refuse a song it has been only the lyrics maybe sometimes the lyrics were not so comfortable so i said okay you know this is not me but otherwise if it's if it's a great song then you're excited to do it if it's if it's an average song then you want to take it up as a challenge and make sure that it sounds great eventually you know so i never got a chance where i could really talk to myself so thanks to lockdown i also understood that you know it's not only about film music you have to uh, do something in the independent space and we spoke before during kuch yes. khab yes. even though it was a very modest effort great melody by dabu malik okay. and he when he approached me with the song um, i just jumped on it i said i don't know what's going to happen with this song later but i have to sing it and once we uh, did the recording he was so happy i was so happy i was so uh, content you know the satisfactory feeling 
it was unbelievable and then uh, he said we have to make a video i know we are not in a situation where we can go out and shoot a video right and he in fact wanted to do that but it didn't happen we we spoke about that in our podcast um uh, but so that was a very modest effort but this time ye ranjish uh, that i'm coming out with it's of course an independent song but at the same time i haven't done a video in a long time it's been 15 20 years i think or maybe more i don't know yeah the uh, yeah. the last video of mine was that universal uh, universal's album sunidi.c and mahia and pehla nasha yeah, these yeah, two yeah, were, and i was 17 18 then so <laughs> it's been really a very long time and with so this very in, with, with the this whole video revival, yeah with this revival yeah. of independent music in india yes for me yes at least because i was really too busy singing film songs i could have done this a long time ago but there was really no space and i don't do anything with a half heart if i want to get into something i have to be involved completely especially when it comes to you know a, a non film songs uh, a non film song where i can have my full involvement and nobody is there to tell me what to do what not to do i'm my own boss you know so i had to have some time out and i'm glad that i met the right people at the right time shruti rani who's the composer of this song such a young beautiful woman <laughs> sings so beautifully but at the same time composes like this you know and i've heard other songs as well of hers i think she's very very talented she's going to go along with and wow. gaurav das gupta who introduced me to her thanks to him because you know when i met him i thought maybe he's approaching me with his own song but you know there are so such few of them like that uh, who actually want to push the new talent so wow. kudos to gaurav very proud of him wow thank you and that's that's again so inspiring like you know a, a senior uh, you know artist like uh, you uh, you know giving your support and love for you know uh, new talent and that's just incredible and that's one really really uh, uh, an amazing uh, thing about you that you have worked with the greats you have worked with everybody that we can think of right from anu malik sir to vishal bhardwaj to vishal shekhar to himesh reshamya everyone uh, you know you are not hesitating to be you know working with uh, somebody that you are working for the first time and that's just so amazing the song is just beautiful guys uh, you must definitely check it out on youtube and it's just beautiful the video is so beautiful and uh, sunidhi you are looking just as young as like you know a newcomer <laughs> i must say <laughs> wow thank you so much you know it's really this song is really special i must say because eventually it's music that is king it's the song it's not composed it who sung it you know some there are so many songs abhi hum jab uh, you know all those uh, despacito ye ye sab gaane jo itne bade hue hain globally india mein bhi um, people don't know the language they don't understand what the meaning of that song is but it's the song it's the tune and it's, and it's the emotion that uh, in spite of the language it just conveys to us you know it's the emotion Bilkul. so i think uh bas wohi cheez follow maine ki i have uh, always followed my instinct and i'm glad i met shruti and i'm wow. sure she'll compose for so many people and she'll be awesome wow that's really beautiful uh, our listeners and viewers are now you know desperately waiting to hear a few lines of ye ranjish on this podcast for wow. can't wait to sing my own song <laughs> sara jo karam ho tera मुकम्मल हो इश्क मेरा कर ले को बोल दे की दुआ जरा जो करम हो तेरा मुकम्मल हो इश्क मेरा कर ले को बोल दे की ये दुआ ye dua wow beautiful such a haunting kind of a melody wow lovely um sunidhi ji if we had to know you know uh, certain values as an artist as an individual that have helped you uh, you know uh, you know over a period of so many years in this industry 
I just know the basics, you know. One uh, mantra that nothing ever stays the same. Second mantra, believe in yourself. Third is uh, do not forget where you came from. I think that's what I have always, uh, I've never forgotten. Got it. Got it. Absolutely. Right. And, uh, you know, talking about, you know, failures in life, you know, we always celebrate success, but, uh, you know, failures are equally important uh, in the journey uh, of an artist or of anybody. So if you could, you know, recall any such chapter in your life, wherein, uh, you know, you were really low and then how did you pick yourself up as an artist or maybe, uh, you know, some sort of a rejection? that you must have faced and then how did you deal with it? You know, something for, you know, all the listeners out there listening to you. Um, I wouldn't call it uh, a low in my life, but uh, I did feel, I did get a lot of rejection. I, uh, you know, I got to know a few nasty things from uh, some music directors that, you know, you should pack your bags and go home. This kind of voice is not going to work. Stuff like, oh, you cannot sing Lagjakale in the original pitch. Oh, then you cannot sing maybe. So you should go and learn. And I was like, okay, how, how singing in high pitch supposed to be, you know, uh, a proof of a good singer and not otherwise. Because, you know, we've had uh, singers like Reshma ji, Parveen Sultana ji, uh, you know, people with different ranges and Usha Atap and so many people. So... I didn't feel low hearing that. I instead thought, okay, that's interesting. So why not I uh, do what I do, uh, but also start doing something in that direction, what they're talking about, because that will be challenging. So that's how uh, it helped me because then I, you know, after many uh, fast paced songs, item songs, I started singing romantic songs like Meri Zindagi Mein Ajnabhi Ka Intazar Hai, uh, Chameli and... Yeah. Uh, Dekhona and uh, Fana, you know, Fana Hoja. So, and Kasi Pahili, all different genres. So, mm-hmm. I would only say that I am thankful to those people who told me that, you know, uh, this is not your alley, you should go back home. And then I tried something in there. I, so, I low feel karne ke bajai, I took it up as a challenge and I worked on it. So, I think failures or rejections are only great, not just good, but great because, of course, you need to be. Uh, you know, mentally and physically very strong, you know, some people just take it too seriously and they don't realize what they have. They depend on people's opinions. You should definitely not forget how you started, what all phrases you got in the beginning and what you are made of. And just one person standing there cannot make you feel otherwise. Wow. I mean, this very, uh, you know, you know, so-called, rejection or whatever uh, really made you, you know, Suniti Chauhan, I mean, as I said in my introduction that you literally changed uh, that, uh, you know, that course for many singers to come. Like in today's uh, day and age, we all know that, you know, um, there are singers of different voice qualities and they are immediately accepted. For them, it is no more a a challenge or a battle to fight. And all of them who have come on this podcast have literally, you know, given you the credit for doing this for them, unknowingly. So So sweet of them. I mean, it's not true, but it's, it's them. It's their unique voice. It's their struggle and their victory. And I'm really happy to see, you know, that, People have opened up to new voices. It's it's been there since uh, since about ten years now. You know they've started accepting, and they all are doing so well. The best part is you see it right. They all are doing so well, and they are so happy. They are sharing music with each other. They are yeah. uh, not. वो वो वक्त नहीं रहा when साथ में मिले बैठे बात करें या तारीफ करूं कि नहीं करूं कैसा लगेगा मेरी इमेज का क्या होगा. I think all the singers they have just come so close to each other, they sing together on stage, they record together, they, they meet. And I think that's a beautiful thing because music is only, only about sharing. The more you share it, the more it will spread. I mean, I recently did a, a single with Shalmali, you know, yes. an English song, it was beautiful. So 
it was only about the song it was only about the music and our bond uh, that we created over a period of time uh, during working during the time we worked on this song so we should always do that i will always support it <laughs> two words about obviously vishal shekhar vishal shekhar do hai unke bare mein do words will be too less <laughs> i can't say enough about vishal and shekhar they are solid you know in here in here and in here unki boli kamal hai inka conduct kamal hai unki compositions kamal hai unki soch kamal hai they are always wanting to do something that has never been done before that's what they thrive to do and i can hear it in all their songs i have had my you know the best songs in my career uh till now have been of vishal shekhar's i would say you know yeah. the the list is really long so i won't be able to pick one uh, mm-hmm. some game changing songs like you know that were like oh my god ye kaise ho sakta hai i chaliya and honeymoon <laughs> travels ho gaya chaliya tashan oh my god so i want to thank them at this point you know and and songs like natija me shatim shatim they figure i mean uh, i don't know how they think How, how they thought of me to sing this song, and so many more. So hey, Shona. I mean, there there's just crazy bunch of, uh, you know, the crazy duo. I'm so proud to be their friend. <laughs> wow. Something in your life that has inspired you recently, lately, or in the past. Uh, it could be a person or a book or a movie. Some source of inspiration that has always, you know, uh, given you that boost. even as an individual or an artist so i heard a zen story uh my husband only told me and i think that kind of changed uh, a little bit uh of the perspective i had uh, about life and it's very simple it's the story i won't tell you because you know you can just go and find out it's a zen story but it's so be it so be it so be it and you'll be amazed to you know hear the story how it came about and uh, everything in life i mean whatever happens if it happens you can't change right mm-hmm. but right. you can definitely work in that direction where if you don't like that what has happened then you can at least change it you know if you you can work towards it so so be it i mean starta uh, suraj uh, ko sab salam karte hain लेकिन हर रोज नया सूरज आता है इट्स नॉट द सेम संडे रोज नहीं आता सो नथिंग स्टे लाइक आई सेड इन दू नो अर्लियर क्वेश्चन वेन यू आस्ट नथिंग स्टे इज द सेम सो जस्ट गो विद टाइम हियर एंड नाउ इज सो गुड एंड सो ब्यूटिफुल बिलीव इन दैट बिकॉज इट्स ऑल अबाउट नाउ यू डोंट नो वॉट गोन हैपन टू मॉरो वॉट गोन हैपन इन द नेक्स्ट मोमेंट सो एंड अगर कुछ हो जाता है कुछ यू डोंट लाइक देन सो बी इट आई मीन यू कैन ऑलवेज work on something else yeah wow that that zen that you call the zen state of mind that that calm serene yeah. state of mind uh, in any ups and downs of life or any situation i have understood it very practically huh. honestly main to meditate bhi nahi kar sakti hu i can't sit at one place quietly like many so of us absolutely really, ha huh, i i haven't gotten the spiritual part of it that will be too much for me to handle maybe i'll get to that later in life once i grow a little older but uh, as of now so be it as practical as it can be for me wow you know wow. because we get bothered with small small things why this happened why it had to be that way Bilkul. that why is not going to answer you because it has already happened instead why can't i why can't i do this why can't i make sure that i'm punctual today you know you can work on those things instead instead of complaining yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. lovely thank you so much for sharing this uh, for all the listeners out there listening to you if you could share uh, some message that's going to help them in their course of their career in music or any field uh, if you could say especially now that everybody is in this digital age of you know uh, social media and they have these platforms ready made platforms for uh, name and fame and immediate success something in that zone for all the new comers 
if something like that if you could share all the newcomers who are already probably popular you know because of the social media and everything i would just say don't forget to keep meeting yourself <laughs> don't let the numbers and the likes fool you because uh, today you have them tomorrow somebody else will have them so what is going to last is your talent and the story that you speak about whatever it is it could be any field it's not only about music it's about anything that you put out there for people to see and people like it and they give their reviews on that just don't forget how you started it how how much it means to you because the moment you start thinking about uh writing or singing according to what people will like then you've lost your touch so my only advice is just yeah this uh, flash uh, is there for a little while but uh, you know for those who are into it who are uh, uh drowned you know in the ocean they will just keep finding their ways because that's the best place to be perfectly said perfectly said thank you so much and i remember like you shared in our last episode with you that you know uh, how you have uh, you know tried to experiment always and innovate yourself uh, so what what is the secret behind this uh, you know uh, always trying to find a new you uh, you know uh, how, how is it that you keep yourself so motivated despite all the success that you have already achieved like what's more that really pushes you now sunidhi wow that's a good question uh i wouldn't know uh, you know eva because okay one thing is for sure that singing was never ever a job for me it's always been my first love love so i think every day if i'm motivated if i'm feeling good about being my if i um, you know feeling good about myself it's because i'm doing something which i'm in madly in love with you know i'm not doing a job uh yeah i think it's i think this that. is the answer <laughs> this is the answer like in a, any relationship yeah. like if you compare it with yeah 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 you to keep a marriage going to keep a healthy relation between two guys or guys two souls or, yeah you know any, any two souls uh you just need to know that why you are in it in the first place because you you are in love with each other so if the love is there then it will be fine and respect i think for me more than love it's the respect that keeps the two together because wow. love is very subjective it's true superficial you know it's actually over a uh, a period of time that you realize that yeah it's actually the you know the care and respect for each other other that you look up to someone if somebody's if your spouse is uh, saying something means something to you if you are understanding it as if you will understand it from your uh, uh, uncle your dad or your guru if you know that that person is only thinking right for you nahi to are to main hu waisi mera spouse bhi hai to why should i listen to him or her aisa hota hai right bilkul but uh, so love to aake chala jata hai is the respect Bilkul. I think I went so far only. <laughs> no, I think um, uh, I think these very personal values reflect in your professional, you know, life, and you know that respect that you have for your, you know, co-workers, you know, co-artists, and and that's just that reflects that honestly, that honesty and that integrity reflects in your work, Sunidhi. I mean, there's. no more uh, you know no nothing else to actually uh, add but thank you so much for the lovely time uh, you know thank you so much it's just a dream come true always to be talking to you sunidhi